First guest tonight is an Emmy-winning comedian, an actor, writer, director, and now at long last, reality television star. His unusual new docu-series is called Gerard Carmichael Reality Show. It premieres March 29th on HBO and Max. Please welcome Gerard Carmichael. <laughs> Good to see you. Really good to see you. You weren't here last time I was here. I, I know, it's right. Yeah, who was here? Uh, uh, Desus was Desus here. Desus was yeah, filling yeah. in for me yeah, that last time. Yeah, I had I, no shirt on. I yeah. wore a shirt for you. You know, it's funny. I saw you had a clip of that in your show, and I was yeah. like, wow, that set looks like uh, my show. And they're like, oh, yeah, right. I wasn't there yeah, that yeah, night. Yeah, you weren't yeah. there. Well, this, I want to ask you about the show. Please. Because, and I, I, I emailed, just so everyone, I, I have a reality show. I emailed Jimmy last night. I was like, you actually got to watch this. I was. It's, it's wild. Like, I, I needed you to watch it so we could talk about it. I was real. in the middle of watching it already, actually, okay, at good, that time. Good. But then I watched almost all of them. I, it finally got to be midnight and I had to go to sleep. Yeah, but, for sure. Um, it is, and correct any of this because I'm really asking more than I'm stating. Oh. It's like half. A very traditional, it's like a lot of things you do that seem normal and then you realize they're not normal. They seem like a traditional, like the way you do a, like a stand-up special, it looks like a stand-up special, like yeah. your sitcom, uh, hosting uh, the Golden Globes. Like <laughs> it all seems like it's gonna be normal and it is not normal. Yeah. This one is um, like there are certain things that seem very Kardashian-y in that they're set up like, oh, we're gonna do this today. Yeah. And then the other half of it is this like, not even half, it's not even a half and half thing. It's like you don't know what's happening. This intensely personal documentary in which you talk to your, your family, your loved ones, your friends, et cetera. Is yeah. that no, a good correct. way of describing it? I was inspired by the I was inspired by the Kardashians and all the housewives. You were. And and but but I wanted to make a show that was the show that happened after those cameras cut like in between like the scenes of what a normal reality show would be, like just me sad in a fetal position, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> actually like dealing with problems and having Yeah, the pace is very different from, yeah. uh, from yeah. those shows for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, and, but it's really interesting. And I, it's funny because you asked me to watch it, but I just, I couldn't stop watching. I did wanted you to laugh? see- Tell, Did you laugh? I laughed a lot of times. Okay. I also, it also is like, it's very heavy sometimes. I mean, it's really- So, so the, I, I, the show is, and I, I really need y'all to watch it. I'm happy to be here to pitch it. I'm not a good salesman, but I, okay. I really want people to watch it. It's for people who embrace uncomfortable conversations. Like, if you've ever had to have, like, a really difficult conversation with, like, someone that you're in a relationship with or your family, uh, and you have to deal with the confrontation of that, that's what the show is. It's me, like, every episode is some conversation that I really didn't want to have uh, with someone who also doesn't want to have this conversation. <laughs> yeah. And we do it anyway, and so, like, that's the show. That's the show. So... If, you know, I need people, it's like emotional fear factor. Like, <laughs> I need people who are that person yeah. in your family to watch I am one it of those and, people. And there's yeah. something that you said that I really identified with, and th where you said, I, I, I don't have the courage to have these conversations, like the conversation you had with your dad, yeah. the courage you, this conversation you had with your mom, off camera. Yeah. So I need those cameras there. And I think most people have the opposite No, the cameras mentality. give purpose. Like, it, it's odd because... And, and I think you might be like this, too, where, like, off-camera is a performance. Like, Thanksgiving is a performance. <laughs> like, we're just at dinner with the family, that's a performance. When the camera's there, we can finally talk about the real stuff that I've been wanting to say, mm -hmm. the things I wanted to ask. And, like, I'm afraid of my dad. Like, he's, like, he's old now and he can't beat me up and I live thousands of miles away, so I shouldn't be scared. But it's scary. Like, it seems so consequential, like, having conversations about his past Dads yeah. don't like talking about the past. Well, especially your dad, and you've talked about your dad's past, and, and yeah. it's fair, I think, because you know you are wounded by a lot of the things that he did, obviously. But he just doesn't want to get into that stuff no. at all. No, no, no. And I, I, I had a sitcom where I got to like write my family. I got to like write my parents, and I got to write what they would say. I, I wrote the happy ending, and I wrote them to that. 
when you actually have your dad in a room and you're having a heavy conversation, I felt like they, it's not the same dialogue. Mm-hmm. Like, my dad just closed his eyes and said, can I go home? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. And when you asked him if he wanted to go on a road trip, he said what? He said, nope. <laughs> he said, nope. And, then he, and then he sent me a text later saying, what do you want from me, son? That could easily be the title of this series because (laughs) with not just your dad, but with your mom too, because I'm not sure they can, they are capable of kind of giving you what you want from them. I dig and I dig and I dig. And I'm like, you know, after years of therapies, like ready to get into what's underneath. And my parents are not those people at all. Like, they don't want to talk about... They'd be very happy just talking about the weather and the neighbors. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Tell me about, you know, what happened in 1993. Mm. <laughs> they don't want to talk about it Well, I think... Uh, why don't we take a break now? Because I want to show a clip of your yeah. dad, and I think it will illustrate what exactly Put we're talking context. about. Gerard Carmichael is here with us. We'll be right back. Bears are, like, big guys. A lot of times hairy. Then you got your otters, who are, you know, like a... It's not a twink, because a twink is like a dolphin. An otter is like a hairy, chubby... Somewhere between a a twink and a bear. You got your otters. Then you got your twonks. <laughs> Gerard Carmichael and his dad is on a, on a road trip. He's so uncomfortable. <laughs> he wants he wants none of it. <laughs> he doesn't really yeah, he made it clear. None of it. He yeah. wanted none of that. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm after listening to that, I think I might be an otter. <laughs> yeah, well, no, you could be a daddy. A daddy, you think? Yeah, yeah, I was telling my dad, it's like, you're a father, so you're like automatically a daddy, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) And he didn't find that educational. No, Uh, no. No, no, no. no. He he didn't want to hear it, he he didn't want to be there. So, as far as what's real and what isn't real in the show, Mm -hmm. when your mom apologized to you for her reaction when you came out during your special, which you won the Emmy for, which is a great special, (laughs) Rose Daniel, was that. I assume that was that wasn't something that you guys set up for the show. Yeah, no, it was it was real. I woke up one morning to a text from her that was very kind and understanding, and I thought because that that's really the big question: like, can your parents change? Right? Mm-hmm. Like, are they capable of changing? And I, it felt like my mom had changed or, or at least shifted in her position a little bit. So I was so excited by that that um, that morning, and then you know. Yeah. Right. But. Yeah. Yeah, Can I defend your parents rocks. for a second? Because please, please. Obviously, they'll they, love that because they're watching. They'll need. They, I know, but they, I just want to say, yeah, they, yeah, they're. I don't think they're ever going to get to the point where they necessarily believe that you didn't choose to be gay. Yeah, I think they, for whatever reason, is whatever has been beaten into their heads over their years. But they did, like, when you ask them to meet your boyfriend, they did it. And your dad asked you to go on. You asked him to go on the road trip. He did, they, they're doing the things. They're doing it. They're just and it's not... out of love. Like, I love yeah. my parents. I love my family very, very much. And they, they do it because, you know, they love me too. I think we want to understand each other. Um, and I pay for the health insurance. So, that <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's like, uh, like, all right, well, you got to be in the show. Like, it comes with it. <laughs> That's the premium. Like, you have to actually be in my reality. Boy, it's so. also complicated, isn't it? It's very complicated. Yeah. But I, I hope it makes an interesting show, and I hope y'all watch it. It is a very, yeah. very interesting show. And funny, also. Oh, thank you. I want to ask you now, this is... Uh, will you put that picture up on the screen? Because this is a real thing. You were at the in Buffalo yeah. at a playoffs game. Uh, the Chiefs and the Bills were playing. You're in the luxury box with Taylor Swift, yes? Yeah. Okay, that was not set up. That's not part of the show. No, no, no. no I should have asked her to be on the show. No, no, that's my best friend. Taylor Swift's my best friend. <laughs> like, like, I'm not, I'm not her best friend, but she's my best. She friend. is your best friend. Yeah, yeah I, I. <laughs> can you think of a better friend to have than Taylor Swift? I no. called my former best friend. I was like, you're out. Taylor's in. <laughs> like, you never invited me on your jet to a game. 
That was my best. I, no, she's she's very smart and interesting. And, she called you and said, "Hey, you want to come to the game with me?" Yeah, yeah, and she knows more about football than I do. She does. She like, yeah. She Did you ask playing. her questions about football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the girlfriend in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, lead it in. But no, uh, and and please, I know because this will be on YouTube. Don't, I can already see it. Uh -huh. The headline underneath me is going to be like, Gerard Carmichael says Taylor Swift's his best friend. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I won't even get top billing. It'll say Taylor Swift, Gerard Carmichael's best friend. Like, don't, <laughs> don't do that to me. It got to be something else. <laughs> I do love her, though. Be creative is what you're asking these people. Just with be creative. Just, with yeah, something else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's something else. Okay, well, it's crazy. I mean, what a crazy life you have, huh? It's fun. It's yeah. It's fun. It's, it's got... fun. It's still like I'm still sad all the time. So it's like, whatever. <laughs> are you still sad all yeah, the time? Yeah, I, ha I, I hit pockets. I yeah. hit pockets where I'm like a little. I have to deal with something. The show is a lot of that. Things that make me sad and trying to confront that. Yeah. Like you know, unfortunately, money doesn't buy happiness. <laughs> Doesn't that suck? Ugh. <laughs> that sucks. What a terrible revelation yeah, that, that is. Sucks. And you hear it your whole life. And you go, yeah, right. Like, I yeah, know. yeah, yeah. They're just sucks. saying that to yeah. make me feel better. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, no, it actually. It, but it, it does, does buy your parents health insurance. It gets the health insurance yes, and right. makes it be on the show. Gerard Carmichael, everybody. Gerard Carmichael reality show premieres March 29th. On HBO and Max, we'll be back with Janelle James. Put on down.